Hey guys, what's up? Cardot here, and today I'm here with an updated Extreme Balor deck profile. This is with the support from the Flyers Collection 2016. So, yep, the deck, it got, the, the new stride is pretty good, so, uh, yeah, I decided to update the deck. So, without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. So, so for Starting Vanguard, running Rumble. Um, Extreme Balor Rumble, its skill is activate some real guard circle, generate strike one. When a unit in the same column as this card stands, stand this unit. So it's a free stand. Uh, if you guys played uh, Beast Aries before, uh, it's pretty much the same as Riot Horn. I think it's called Riot Horn. <clears throat> Great threes, we're running four Extreme Battler Victors. Skill is Generous Brick 2. When this card attacks during this battle, this card gets plus 1,000 power. And then you can choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and that gets plus 1,000 power too. It's a pretty decent generator 2 skill, but you're not going to use it too often if you can't stride, of course. Uh, as stride, uh, stride Brick skill is, uh, during turn, if a unit strides on this card, um, your Vanguard gets a new skill, and that new skill is, kind of lost one, when uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you can play the cost, if you do, stand one of your rear guards, and that unit gets plus 1000 power, and this effect cannot be used again. Uh, during that turn, so obviously his strike break skill can help you uh, um, make your Sazanda stand even more. So obviously that's pretty good for that. Next we're running three Crystal Devils. Skill is kind of lost one when this card attacks. You'll pay the cost if you do. Um, choose one of your units with Rush ability and stand it. And then it gets a new ability, and that's once per turn. Uh, when this card attacks, at the end of the battle, stand that unit. So it's it's not a bad uh, effect, but uh, you know, Victor is definitely a better better card. A second skill is when this card is placed on a Vanguard Circle, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One. You can pay the cost if you do. Choose from Rear Guards, and it gets a new skill. And that new skill is once per turn. When this card attacks, at the end of the battle, stand this unit, and then it gets plus two thousand power. So it's kind of like a mini on ride version of Victor. Uh, Victor Strike Break skill. So, yeah. You just get the free stand instead of uh, instead of attacking and stand. So, I, I guess it's okay. Uh, the reason why I'm not running Dan Strike anymore is because I took out all the pretty much all the rush units in the deck, so his search skill has nothing to search for. And, uh, yeah. But Dan Strike definitely has a pretty good rear, rear guard ability, so... Um, I was actually planning to tech in one, but I'm just going to run three crystal doubles instead. Next, running four Shazanda. Uh, he's the MVP of the deck. Skill is uh, generous brick one when this unit stands uh, from a card effect. Um, this card gets plus 1,000 power, so it, it does stay. So for every time you stand him, you get plus 1,000 power, so it can stack up to pretty big if you can uh, stand a lot. Next, we're running for White Hank. Now, White Hank, uh, White Hank, skill is kind of lost one when this card, generous break one, kind of lost one when this card attacks and is being boosted. You can play the cost if you do, choose one of your rear guards and stand it. It gets plus 5,000 power. Or the stand it, you can get plus 5,000 power. And um, this unit, uh, this effect cannot be used until the end of turn. Or, uh, yeah. So, basically, again, it's a combo on the stack, and he also gives just so now another 5,000 power. So, it'll be uh, pretty much when you stand that time, he'll get plus 10k. And that's probably not the only time he's going to be standing, so you can imagine how how powerful your Sazanda will be. So next, uh... Abaru Leru. So this is the uh, key card, uh, the... The Victor support. Skill is kind of lost one, so lost one. When this card is placed on rear guard circle, if you have a Victor Vanguard, you will pay the cost. If you do, this card gets plus 2,000 power and a new skill. And a skill is uh, once per turn. When this card attacks, uh, you can choose one of your rear guards. Or when this card attacks a Vanguard, you can choose one of your rear guards and stand it. And that unit gets plus 5,000 power. So this is kind of like a mini White Hank. Except uh, he doesn't need to be boosted. And he himself is a 11k attacker on call. On the time on return column, so it's quite good. 
course, White Hank is reusable, so uh, White Hank has an adventure there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this card is pretty good for pushing game, uh, pushing numbers. If because he hits for a better number if you're putting it in front of in front of Rumble. So yeah, we'll we'll you, you, you'll see. Um, depends on how many of these you have in your hand. The turn, I guess. So next we're running four Shroud Fodders. We're running running uh, seven grade three, so we're running for for um, Shroud Fodders to compensate that. If I was running eight grade threes, then I would have run um, another run one more less Shroud Fodders. But yeah. All right. So they're running for Malaki. Uh, it's the new support, for, or he's not new anymore, but uh, he's a pretty key card for uh, Victor decks. So that's Genetric 1, uh, if you have a Victor Vanguard. Uh, on a turn, whenever a unit stands in front of this card, uh, it gets a new skill. Or whatever, this, that up. the unit in the same column as this card gets a new skill, and the skill is Vanguard Rearguard skill. When, it, when this unit stands, uh, during this turn, it gets another new skill, <laughs> and the new skill is Vanguard Rearguard. When this card attacks, uh, you can choose two of your other units and they get plus 4,000 power. So basically, when you stand, you give the skill to, um, you give the skill to probably Shazanda, and the Shazanda will attack and he gives the other column plus 8k. And then when he stands again, he'll get the effect again, so then you, next time he attacks, he gives the other column plus 16k. So it's pretty scary. It does stack, so it's pretty deadly like that. <clears throat> Next, we're running two Claydol. Uh, skills when this card is called to the guard circle, you can inflict one damage. This deck does use a lot of counter loss, so uh, Claydols do help. Next, we're running four Purple Guard Gs, also to un help inflict damage. Triggers running five crit, five, uh, four of them are victor crits, three of the Stand. I'm not running the the timer guy. Um, I he does uh, help you attack for a lot bigger, but I feel like getting another extra attack in is more helpful. So I don't know. It's just my, my personal preference. Um, and all times, this card is used uh, is better to use against um, decks with heavy retiring. Because after she finished boost thing, she goes back into the deck, so she won't get killed in the next turn. But I don't know. I feel I I just feel like uh, getting an extra attack in is more value than um, getting that uh, extra number. I don't know. Each 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 does own, I guess. But if you guys noticed in my previous build, I did run the uh, timer guy. Um, but yeah, this time around, I'm just going to run her instead. I ran four draws and four heals. So, there's that. I forgot what the timer guy is called. Something 9.99 .99 or something like that. Uh, uh, he's a good card, but... I don't know. Personal pre preference, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. So, uh, for the G zone, we're running 4 meter Bustard. Skill is once per turn, count almost 1. G flip 1 card. When this card attacks, you'll pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your rear guard for every one of every face up Meteor Bustard on, in your G zone and stand it. And if you stood uh, 2 units and you have 5 your rear guards. Then this card gets a new skill, and a new skill is kind of must one. Choose two cards from your hand and discard it. And at the end of the battle, you may pay the cost if you do. Stand this unit, and it gets minus two drives. Minus two drive checks. So basically, his first skill helps you restand your rear guards, and his second skill helps you restand himself. So he's a pretty deadly card. Um, main thing is that you can use, only use him um, for your. Use, the restand for himself for the second try, but uh, getting using his 
using him as a first drive to stand one of your one of your regards is not awful, so it's it's definitely worth the value. It, it does it does cost one counter loss, but it's fine. And if you can um, set up your combo, you can do a lot of damage on your first stride. And then by the time you your second stride, your opponent's probably going to be dead by then. So it's all good. So next we're running the uh, Victor stride. Four of them. Uh, his skill is, once per turn, you can G-flip one of himself. And then uh, when this card... Uh, during this turn, this card gets a new skill, and the new skill is on a Vanguard Circle. Uh, when this card attack hits, you can choose one of your rear guards, and it gets plus 1,000 power, and you, you can stand it. His generation but 3 skill is when this card attacks a Vanguard, you may choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets plus 1,000 power. So basically, if you if the attack hits, you can stand a rear guard, and you can also uh, stand another rear guard for attacking for his generation but 3. And basically, if you don't hit, you can just stand one. Um, so it's sort of a win-win situation since you can stand something regardless. Uh, most of the time, you won't be standing, but you can combo it with your Victor Stride Break to stand another unit anyway. So it's pretty good. And another thing why he's pretty good is because he does not cost any counter boss. So when you run out of counter boss, he's still a very good stride. Next, we're running two of the uh, Meteor Kaiser. Uh, skill is kind of kind of lost two. Choose G flip himself, and then um, if you have two more face cards in your G zone, discard gets my, plus, uh, minus one drive check, and a new skill. Uh, a new skill is discard two cards from your hand when this card attacks. At the end of the battle, you can stand this unit, and you cannot use this ability again until the end of the turn. Or you can't use this ability again because yeah, by the end of the turn he'll be back in your G zone. But yeah, he's a restander. He's um, he's a good backup if you don't have five rear guards. If you're playing against a deck with heavy retiring, then uh, his own restand will be okay. Next, we're running one of the uh, rare strike from the very first GB01. GBD01 uh, skill is when this card attack hits, you can choose from rear guards and stand it, and that you guys plus 5,000 power. Uh, most of the time, you're going to be using to flip for uh, Meteor Kaiser Bustard. So, yeah. And uh, next, we're running one Sea Breeze. Skill is activating the G zone, count loss 2, choose one card in your hand, discard it. If you have a Dries, uh, if you have a Grade 3 Vanguard and zero, card, zero cards face up in your G zone, while your opponent is on grade 2 and they did not put, place a card in the vanguard circle during their ride phase, you can uh, place this card on the vanguard circle as stride. So basically, you can un ungrade lock yourself. But it is a hefty price, it is counter last 2, so by the time you use this, you might <laughs> deplete a lot of your resources for your combos. So don't use this unless you have to, I guess. But, you know, if, you, if they're grade locking you, then you probably have to anyway. So next, we're going to run two of the Nova Grappler G Guardians. Uh, the skill is, when this card is put in Guardian Circle, if your damage is the same or more than your opponent, then this card gets put another 5,000 guard, so it becomes a 20k guard. Uh, this one's a bit better than the Nova Grappler one, in my opinion. But, yeah. Not <laughs> the Kagero one. Yeah, sorry. So, next we're running one Dark Elemental and one Metal Elemental. Uh, this one acts as a 20K, 25k shield if you discard another card from your hand. So, you have to discard your heal trigger and you have to discard an additional card for him to get a plus 10k. But, sometimes it's worth it. Then, this one uh, acts as a perfect guard as, for your great uh, rear guard. As well as being a 15k shield for your Vanguard. So it's, it's okay. Alright, that's pretty much concludes it for this deck. Um, sorry if, if I sound a little rushed. Um, it's because uh, I love this. I love the, the whole. The, the bulk of the deck is pretty much the same as my old uh, Victor deck, except there's a few changes. Uh, 
this was a change. These were a change. And that's pretty much it. But uh, the ratio, the grade two and grade one ratios were a bit different. So yeah, it's worth updating, I guess. Also, I placed the stand here. Um, again, it really depends on how you see things, but uh, I, I like this card more. You can uh, feel free to disagree, but yeah. All right, so this is uh, Karotaku, and I'll see you guys later then. Bye!